Hi everybody, this message is going to be for, um, we're going to start off in Capricorn just because it is Capricorn season. This is our Tarot Tuesday reading and this is going to be for the week of January um, 12th. What's today? Yeah, January 12th. <laughs> um, going into um, January, let's do the 19th or the 20th. I'm going to do the 20th, okay? So we're going to start off in Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus in Capricorn. And then we're going to upload the rest of them, okay? And then we're going to do Taurus, we're going to do Virgo. So this reading right here is going to be for Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, okay? Um, you guys can fast forward. This is not your sign, okay? So let's go. We're going to got some Moonology cards here, so we're going to do that first, okay, Capricorn? All right, so here we go. And happy birthday to all my January Capricorns out there. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, I so love it, I love it, I love it. All right, this is for Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Horizon, or Venus, and Capricorn. This is your Terra Tuesday reading, weekly reading. This is your new moon energy that's happening in Capricorn on January 13th. And that energy is going to stick with us for about a week in... This is the same week where we also are going to be dealing with Uranus going direct and your sister sign Taurus. So this energy this week is very important. All right, Capricorn. So let's look at your moonology. All right, here we go. Uh-oh. The card got stuck. Why? Three cards. <laughs> the new moon eclipse, which is not going to happen yet. And then we had the new moon in Pisces which is sometime in um, August or September. No, 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 the new moon in Pisces. Oh, no, that's going to happen really soon. That's going to happen in March. So, guys, if you haven't checked out your three-month reading um, that I did or uploaded, please check that out because this might have some significant meanings to it, okay? It says meditate and contemplate. It could be a reason why the universe is telling you that. Okay, it also says here, nothing will come of this situation, okay? And that is void, of course, moon, okay? But now, guys, I wasn't really trying to pull three cards for you, Capricorn, but of course, the universe always do what it wants, and I'm going to let the universe have its way. So it's saying expect a powerful change, my love, this week, okay? A powerful change, significant change. You guys have been going through the space for a while now, so this should really not be that much of a surprise to you. But I know a lot of people get excited about the new year. But what people don't understand is that the new moon in Capricorn literally sets us off on the new year is showing us you know or giving us a chance to be practical to be rational to be responsible you know to take care of our business to be ambitious you know to not give up to go after what we want in a very diplomatic way so capricorn this is huge for you this is not the time to slack or to feel inadequate and if you do then you may want to check your belief system because there's something deep down inside of you that it has been yearning for this true level of success whether it is in your love life in your career uh, when it comes to your finances Something is yearning deep down inside of you that's saying, I can't give up right this second. I just can't give up right now, okay? And some of you may be saying, I'm tired of this. I want something new. So again, there's that yearning energy for something greater to take place. And that opportunity is now here to present itself with the expect a powerful change during the new moon eclipse, okay? Now, we're not starting off with the new uh, eclipse this year. I mean... Yeah, not this year. Last year, we did. So try to think about, you know, what you were going through at that time. Last year, around this time, what were you going through? What are some things you were dealing with? What are some challenges you were facing? Try to think about that because this week is going to be very significant. If you haven't already been feeling the deep emotions, if you haven't already been feeling, um, you know, the like the, the messages coming from the universe, you know, you haven't been hearing them. Or maybe um, there's been like dreams that have been like popping up and different epiphanies, okay? Pay attention to those things because there's a huge... There's a huge message coming in for you, you know? So you have to be open-minded to what Spirit is sharing with you at this time, okay? 
So let's look at some overall wisdom cards, okay? This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, or Venus and Capricorn. And I'm sorry, guys, if I'm looking everywhere it's because I don't like too much noise um, when I'm doing what I'm doing. So it's, it can be very irritating. All right, so here we go. This is some wisdom cards for you, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus and Capricorn. Now, I love this deck very much because it just gives me positive vibes. So, like, I love this deck so much. Um, I forget the name of it. It's called, um, I think it's called Wisdom um, by Colette Baron Reed. I think that's the name. I don't know. I'll show you guys um, later. But I believe that that's the name of this deck. All right, but it's a very beautiful deck, very vivid, clear images, very, um, it just makes me happy. Like, I love looking at this, this deck, okay? So, let's look into it. Let's see what's going on for Capricorn. Okay, all right, I understand now. Okay, so, orphaned. Okay, feeling left out on the cold, feeling like you have no help. Um, maybe this is an energy that you were dealing with recently, okay? And Spirit wants you to be reminded that you are not alone, that, you know, you do have help, that people are going to be reaching out to you, that especially for those of you who's like, well, I see a lot of other Capricorns getting it, but I'm not getting it. Or if you have this feeling of how come everybody else is achieving something, but I'm not achieving it, you know? I feel like a lot of you Earth signs are dealing with a lot of this type of energy um for the past week or two and it's not because you're not happy it's just because there's some things that just need to be simply straightened out and it's just been causing a lot of disturbances for a lot of you um internally you know so with this i feel like this person is like left out on the cold feeling, feeling really left out feeling um incomplete feeling like um down or depressed feeling really sad i feel like it has you've been in a really dark place for a really long time and the time has come for you now to release that energy and that is why spirit says here that it's important for you to take some time this week to meditate and contemplate to expect a powerful change and to remember that nothing will come of this situation as long as you are like this, okay? Or nothing will come of this situation, especially if you feel like you've been trying and trying and trying. It may be time to just say the hell with it, right? So don't keep giving out this type of energy because then guess what? The universe is going to get that right back to you. So it's important that you expect a powerful change that you carry you know you walk around with this this energy of i have to have faith you know i have to believe everything is going to be okay i've been saying that to you for a while capricorn so for a lot of you i feel like you're doing all that you can to uh fix your situation and guess what a lot of you actually didn't get that to happen for you recently and some of you are still being patient and waiting and the universe just wants you to be reminded that they have not forgotten about you. That you are not forgotten, okay? And we see that here with Treasure Island, okay? Some good news coming into the surface. Oh, yeah. All right, something new coming up out of the water, coming up out of the woodworks, okay? And this could be love. This could be romance. This could be, um, you know, <sighs> financial good news because that's do see a lot of gold <laughs> so this could be wishing upon a star things that you've been wishing for being granted okay this is one of those moments where you really got to be uh you're going to be praying for things and it's actually going to be coming to fruition and you're going to be like okay i didn't you know i was praying for it but i didn't know it was going to actually come in so this is interesting because i i remember a lot of you going through this back in november and december so this is interesting to have this energy here in your present moment so a lot of you could have been you know getting over this hump you know feeling down and feeling depressed and now you're in a perfect space to celebrate and to be happy and to um, enjoy yourself. And that's what this is all about. You know, victory, um, celebrating, good news coming in. Check those voicemails. Check those mailboxes. Check those letters. Don't, you know, when you get a piece of mail sometimes, we're like, oh, I don't know. I don't really care about that. Right? And then we don't really pay no mind. We just throw it to the side because it's not of significance to us. We don't care. So, 
But now, I recommend that you actually don't do that. Because look, the, I just thought about this. Thank you, universe. So look, you see how in the background, Capricorn, the clouds are really gray. Sorry about that. The clouds are really gray. It's really dark, really depressing. Like, right? You see that? It's really dark and boring. Like, uh, right? But then look at this one. There are brighter days ahead, my love. Can you see that? There are brighter days ahead. Look how clear the water is. Look how beautiful the sun is shining through. The clouds are really bright and blue. There's some white, so it represents like some clarity coming in. If you haven't, if you haven't been under having clarity about something. And then look at this, to be fair. Look at this. More happiness. This sun is coming through. Okay? But there's going to be some things that you have to make a decision about, okay? You're going to have to be very precise about what you're praying for, what you want to work on. The thing I love about the new moon this week is that um, you get that opportunity to go back, you know, to practice that practical side of yourself. You know, you get to go back to say, hmm, I'm going to continue to focus on my goals. I'm not going to let this situation get me down. I'm going to continue to focus on things I want to achieve. This can be a better eating plan, being more healthy, taking better care of yourself. This can simply be um, separating yourself from situations or people or environments that really bring you harm, that bring you a sense of disconnect. Yeah, we, look, we're, we're trying to stick with the brighter days, okay? We, we're not trying to be all gloomy and depressed and sad, okay? But like I said, if this situation got you feeling like this, that nothing will come out of it, honey, you got to learn to trust your intuition. You got to trust the process. It's all good. We all go through problems where we have to bounce back and learn from situations. So like I said, think back to what you were going through at this time last year. Is it worse? Okay, or was it better than what it is right now? Or, or what you're dealing with right now, is it pretty fair compared to what you were going through last year? Is your life considerably much better? Are you mentally in a better space than you were last year at this time? You got some things to think about. Expect a powerful change. You will not go through a lot of the things that you went through last year. So you can be grateful this week knowing that some changes are coming. So take some time to meditate and to contemplate and rely on your intuition, my love, okay? Do not lose hope, all right? So we have some love cards here for you. All right, Capricorn, you ready? I already kind of pre-shuffled, but let's give it some more love, shall we? And I kind of blended um, two of my decks, too, as well. Um, just for some extra, you know, um, just cause that's just me. That's my business, you know? So, um, here we go. All right. Capricorn love. January, January 12th until January 20th. All right. So it seemed like, you know, there, whatever conflict that was happening in this union is, it's just because you guys marry each other. You know, there's a very strong connection here, and it's because you guys see right through each other, you know? And do you know how annoying that is? Like, you ever looked in the mirror, okay? That's what this is. You ever looked in the mirror, and it literally shows you exactly what you do not want, like that zit or um that pimple that's trying to come up out of nowhere or maybe you seen a crooked tooth or maybe you notice a gray hair right a mirror shows you everything about yourself so it's like as annoying as it can be and depressing as it can be we can't deny the truth it was revealed to us for a reason and so you and this person are together because you both can teach each other something about each other you guys can you look at that person and you see yourself and that's why it's so irritating to you okay that is what it is marion marion excuse me I'm, I'm from new york so yeah marion each other self-image relationships reflect on our wounds introspection like i said it's time to go within it's time to see the truth to embrace the truth we may not always like it again nothing will come out of situation if we keep up with the same thing we keep up with the same attitudes 
and something is telling you to change, change, okay? Start to make the change. And this is the perfect week to do that. Sitting around like this is not going to get you anywhere, okay? But maybe you could be in a situation that has you feeling this way. And maybe it's time to look in the mirror, okay? So when it comes to this person, like I said, I don't, you know, a lot of you, this is a past life situation. This is a love situation, this is a really deep love situation. Like I said, I see a lot of hearts here. I see a lot of stars, wishing upon a star. But this is a past life relationship. Like I said, you guys marry each other. So when it comes to love, this could very well be a karmic relationship. Who knows? It is also saying here, it is safe for you to love Capricorn. So yeah, expect a powerful change. You know, again, if you feel like some changes need to be made, then make the changes. Be the example of what that change looks like, okay? You don't have to stay stuck in the situation, feeling sorry for yourself, feeling insecure. If you Again, if you feel or if you find yourself in competition, unnecessary competitions, or if you are constantly um, questioning yourself, doubting yourself, okay, mm, I don't know what's going on, I don't know if this person loves me, I'm not sure if this is the right job for me. You know, if you have a sense of feeling inadequate, you need to question that, you need to seek knowledge about that, you need to try to understand, you need to heal that. Because something deep down inside of you is yearning for something greater, but you are struggling to get there, even if this is your finances. If you are having doubt about your finances, what can you do to fix your situation? If you are telling yourself, well, there ain't shit I could do. I just got to wait. Nope, that's, that's the lie, okay? And I'm not religious, but that's the lie that the devil wants you to know, okay? Because you do have the tools, and you do have the power to change your destiny. You do not have to sit here and feel sorry for yourself. You do not have to sit here and feel like you're not going to make it or things won't work out for you in your marriage or your relationship. You will, be, you will be just fine, okay? So this week, Capricorn, embrace the truth. That is your theme, okay? Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to now move on to Taurus, okay? Ooh, chow, chow, chow. Listen, I already knew you earth signs was going to give me a run for my money today, so it's all good, okay? I'm not even mad. All right, so let's look at some uh, Moonology cards for Taurus. Let's clear this off really quickly, all right? We're going to set our love cards right there, looking all beautiful and whatnot. All right, so here we go. We got up. Uh -oh. We don't want to mess up the whole thing now. Come on. All right, we've been doing good so far, so far, so good. All right, so this is the Moonology Energy for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Horizon, or Venus and Taurus. This is your life and love energy. Weekly, New Moon, Terra Tuesday Energy. Okay, for January 12th until January 20th. Enjoy. If this is not your sign, feel free to fast forward. Okay. Here we go. All right, Taurus. Come on now. Don't be getting all sticky like Capricorn. All right. Beautiful energy. All right. Here we go. This is beautiful energy, by the way. And once again, I still dealt three cards, and I don't know why. Maybe that's what Spirit wants me to share with the guys today. All right. Ooh. The answers you need are coming in. Oh, yeah. Look at that, Taurus. Clarity returns. With intuitive Gemini energy, with that strong intellect, allow spirit to guide you. And woo, honey, by January 30th, my love, we're going to have a full moon in Leo. Expect that to be a very adventurous week for you, okay? It says here, do not let pride get in your way. Stand strong for what you believe in. Practice what you preach. Be bold and make the first move. Okay, if you are saying to once again, I'm gonna tell you the similar things that I just told Capricorn. If there's something deep down in you that is serving you a bit of doubt, okay, be bold and make the first move, and you will not regret it. Okay, do not listen to that little voice inside of you telling you that you can't do it or that you can't be successful. Don't worry about what everybody else is doing, just focus on you and your goals. And I promise you, I know that that seems so cliche, but it's the truth, honey. Okay, so do not let pride get in your way. Don't say, mm, I really need to do this, but I don't know because, you know, don't do that to yourself. If you need help, you need help. It is what it is. If you need money, you need money. So what? You need money, you need money. If you need a house, you need a house. 
If you need to build credit, build credit. If you need a business loan, you need a business loan. Speak up. Speak your truth. Be bold. Be courageous. Make the first move, Taurus. Okay? Let's look at your wisdom cards here. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> I'm going to give you guys an extra few seconds. I appreciate your patience. Um... Let's see. All right. So I had to like fix that video, fix the video or um, because I don't like distractions and I don't like having to sit here and fix problems when I'm doing this. And it's really irritating. Okay. So here we are, Taurus. Sun, Moon, and Rising or Venus and Taurus. This is your life, love, energy for January 12th until January 20th. This is your Tarot Tuesday reading. This is your new moon energy. Okay. Ooh, ooh. I like this, Taurus. All right, it says milk and honey. Oh, yeah. Somebody's reaping the rewards for all of their hard work. Like I said, be bold, be courageous. Do not let pride stand in your way. Look at this. Don't let pride stand in your way. Be bold. Make the first choice. Make the first decision. Make the first move. You will be rewarded. People are going to be praising you and looking up to you and wanting to do work with you, wanting to do business with you. Round and round, okay? Going over in your mind, over and over and over, trying to make a decision, driving yourself crazy over this choice. <laughs> Taurus, don't drive yourself crazy. Listen, Spirit just told me to switch the cards around, okay? No problem. Look at this. I'm finished business. I'm finished symphony. Somebody is deeply in love or there's some definitely um, some love energy happening here that was left unfinished. Okay, so this could have been a conversation. This could have been you and this person picking up from where you last left off at. Or maybe if this is not love and this is definitely um, a career choice. Or uh, maybe this could have been educational. This could have been something creative, okay, that you were focusing on. And... Spirit wants you to continue to be creative. Continue to focus on the things that you were once focused on, okay? Don't lose hope at this time. It's important not, again, don't drive yourself crazy. Don't overthink the process, okay? Once again, here are the stars. Wishes coming true. Wishes being fulfilled. Abundance is coming in for you right now, Taurus. So you have a lot to be thankful for. Um, you have a lot to be proud of. And I feel like um, a lot of you haven't really been realizing that because you've been so focused on so many other things that how many times have you just sat there and just, um, you know, um, I'm trying to find the right word, like just bass in your glory. <laughs> like how, when is the last time you just did that where you just sat back and just enjoyed, you know, the laughter or you just enjoyed good family time where you just enjoyed the romance where you just enjoyed um, being with your friends or going out and having a good time? When is the last time you did that? Right? When is the last time that you wasn't looking for perfection or you just wanted to just be you? When was the last time that you did that? Right? When is the last time? When is the last time that you, I just heard, kept your promise? That shouldn't be hard for you. Or maybe this is going to be the time where you need to keep your promise about something. But you're happy here. You're satisfied. So something is working out. You you obviously did took, take some advice from something that you've learned or that somebody taught you. This could have been an older person or um, a more creative person, someone who is very free creatively, someone who just um, likes to have fun and dance and be creative and express themselves. They taught you a lot or they will be teaching you a lot. So you could be learning something from this person who is extremely creative. Um, and they're very loyal to their goal and they're very committed to their goal and i think that it's highly respected by you i think you appreciate that you know and if this is not you doing this to somebody else i mean if this is not this person doing this for you then you could be educating someone or sharing your creativity with someone else okay but either way it go you know there's some people that want to give back or that want to help you that's beautiful energy right there um let's look at some love cards wow very beautiful energy, Earth signs. Very beautiful. I'm in the middle of something right now. Oh, wedding rings. All right, it says here, union, a wedding, getting married, okay? 
Is that the decision that you're having a hard time, go, you know, thinking about? Is that what you're having a hard time making a decision about? Mm, remember that question I asked you? I said, when is the last time? So when is the last time? Focus on yourself. Self-worth. Take time to heal. Do some shadow work or self-appreciation. Again, take time to bask in your creativity and your glory. Take time to bask in the things that you love and that you appreciate. It's not saying not to get married. That's not what it's saying. It's just saying if you know that you have done the work and you know that you're in a mentally much better space right now, emotionally you're in a much better space, if you know that creatively you're going places, you're doing all things that satisfy your spirit, then by all means go for it. But if not, then they obviously need some time for you. There's definitely going to be um, some time for you to work through some things that you haven't personally worked on. But if you feel like you've done the work and you're ready for love, then go for it. Because wedding bells is on the horizon. This could be you proposing to someone or someone proposing to you. Take it how it applies, okay? Or somebody could be thinking of marriage, having a lot of conversations about marriage, um, asking this person, hey, why can't we get married? Let's just do it, right? Or you could be invited to a wedding, and that may be exactly where you meet the love of your life, okay? But there's definitely some type of beautiful wedding energy here. There's a lot of um, soul connections here as well, an everlasting promise. Wow, remember what I said before? Promises. I just keep hearing that. An everlasting promise basking in your glory. So, <laughs> an everlasting promise, my love. Wow, the universe is really showing out today. Look at this. So, is that what the promise is about? Because I said that. I said I think it's going to be some type of promise. Either keeping promises to yourself or you and this person making a promise to each other for a lifetime. Okay, we're not going to get married right now, but give us 10 years and we're going to get married. Like, you guys could be doing that. Oh, maybe you guys have done that, and now you're ready to bask in your glory. That is beautiful energy, my love. And look at this. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. You got a lot of cards here, Taurus, talking about being bold and making the move, making the right choice, not letting pride get in your way. Hey, listen, let me tell you something. No judgment zone over here, okay? If you are a woman and you want to propose to a man, hey, there's nothing wrong with that, okay? Don't let society tell you that a man's supposed to propose to you. Don't let society tell you that. If you are feeling bold and courageous and you are confident and sure of yourself, and if he is courageous and confident and sure of himself, there should be no problem with you saying, honey, I want to get married to you. Don't let society tell you that. Now, a lot of you might say, well, I want them to propose to me. But what if they do want to get married, but they just not as confident and bold as you, right? Make the first move. Do it anyway. Make the first move. Have fun while doing it. You know, don't overthink the process. All right? So, so Taurus, I love you. Your energy for this week is do not let pride get in your way. Be bold. Okay? I love you, Taurus. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All right, so let's move on to Virgo. Yep. <laughs> Hi, Virgo. I'm G1 Rider with G1 Insights, and this is your life and love energy. And this is going to be for January 12th until January 20th, because this is your Terra Tuesday weekly energy, my love. And this is your new moon energy, okay? So let's get into it, all right? Wow. Wow. <laughs> So we have some Moonology cards for you too, Virgo. Boom, boom, boom. All right, here we go. All right. Okay, thank you. Oh, good night. You're told your cards flew out. Just like half one. That's crazy. All right, look. Oh, this card just came out for Taurus. So I'm going to put this back just to be make sure that this is your energy as well, okay? What do you need to release? That's what you got so far. A new start is coming. Oh, yeah. A win-win outcome is on the forecast. Hmm. So, what are we thinking? By April? Mm -mm. Fear and just decisions. Fear and just decisions. A new start is coming. A new you is emerging. A new tone, a new settlement, a new home, a new environment, a new relationship. G1 
just everything just new. This is a win-win situation, okay? A win-win outcome. Putting yourself first, making the right choice. What do I need to release? Do I need to release toxic people, so-called friends? Do I need to release this environment? Do I need to release this person? Hmm. What do you need to release this week? Okay? For the new moon in Capricorn, it's important that you continue to focus on things that matter to you. You want to focus on, you know, your family, your production, you know, your home, your career. If you've been looking for a job, keep on looking. The answers may come by the end of next week, okay? I know that's kind of far-fetched for some of you, all right? But listen, don't give up just yet. There's going to be some changes that you've been making, too, with, um, like, a relationship that you may have with friends or relationships that you may have with your children there can also be um some decisions that you need to make when it comes to your personal life and again your personal goals okay but spirit wants you to know that a new start is here and it is coming it is approaching us and it's so ironic because that's that's exactly what we need the new moon energy so it's time for renewal it's time to start over it's time to have a clear mind um clear thinking no, you know, no negative energy, no negative people around you um, encouraging you to do something that you shouldn't do or people trying to influence you to live your life the way that they live their life. Um, you know, continue. If you're going to be healthy and in charge of your destiny, you need to make sure that you're doing what satisfies you. Okay, same thing I just told Taurus. Focus on self-care focus on yourself you know i think that's huge for all earth signs right now is to take initiative to focus in on yourself what do you want you know i feel like earth signs are very big when it comes to giving and giving and giving and you know nurturing you guys may not be the most emotional signs but you are very sensitive by nature and you're very sensitive because you care so much about everybody else and everything else that sometimes it is important to just focus on you, you know? And there's nothing wrong with that. Don't let anybody make you feel like there's anything wrong with that. But I hear fair and just decisions. I don't know if this is a legal situation because I see, um, you know, balance here is needed. Okay, I just see emotions as well. So you might spend a lot of time this week expressing your emotions and how you feel about a situation or how you feel about a person. Between this week and next week, expect a major shift in your love life and in your finances. Okay? So we have some wisdom cards here for you too, my love. Let's look at that. Let's look at some wisdom cards for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus and Virgo. This is your life and love energy for January 12th until January 20th. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. All right, here we go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, 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 yep. Like I said, <laughs> a new start is coming, my love. Feeling blessed. No more stressing. No more cares in the world. No more worries. Not saying that you don't care for people, but you're taking some time out to just focus on you. And that is the biggest gift that you can give yourself. It's taking back control of your life. Taking back control of what you need and what you feel. Taking back control of, you know, your destiny. Taking control of your love life. Your marriage. Okay? Yes. Taking back control of your education. Taking back control of your health. Okay? That is the biggest blessing that you can give yourself. Because when you love you, the universe loves you. Okay? And when you are putting out positive energy, that positive energy is going to come right back to you. But if you're walking around wishing people bad, saying bad things to people, intentionally trying to hurt people, I'm not talking about just some random argument you have with a person and y'all both slip up and say some things. That's not what I'm saying. I'm talking about intentionally hurting people or somebody trying to intentionally hurt you. Yeah. That's not going to rock too well in 2021. 
okay? I told everyone 2020, 2021, and 2022 are going to be very powerful. So we are here in that week where it's 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1. You get what I'm saying? You feel me? And this is going into 0, 1, 2, 0, 2, 1. Those numbers are repeating for a reason, and that's why Spirit wanted me to do it that way. It's so important that you recognize when you have a blessing and when something is a triumph, or when not a triumph, when something is a trial or tribulation, you need to recognize when it's a blessing or something that is toxic, when it's a blessing or when it's a curse. You need to know the difference. You need, just because someone is family doesn't mean that they have your best, best interest at heart. Just because someone claims that they're your friend and they tell you exactly what you want to hear doesn't mean that they're your best friend. Just because someone says, hey, you know, I want to have your baby doesn't mean that they're going to be a good mom to your child or that they're going to be a good dad to your child. So we have to weigh our options. We have to pay attention to what we're doing. You have to focus on what you're doing. Try not to be easily influenced by other people's thoughts and opinions. It's important that you focus on you for the next two weeks. Because a new start is emerging. And if you want that new start, my love, that new love, that new chemistry, that new found chemistry, that new marriage... That new love, that new home, the new baby, the new career. It's time for some changes. A new start is emerging. And you're being blessed with something very significant. And you cannot let anybody or any situation fuck that up for you. I don't care who it is. Okay? Look at that. Knocking obstacles out your way. What do you need to release? What do you need to release? One by one, knock them out. Okay? Letting go and no longer serve you. Moving past obstacles. Stepping over the hurdles. Okay? Crushing. Crushing it. Okay? Let go and will no longer serve you, my love. That is what I'm hearing for you. It doesn't matter how big or small. What do you need to release? It doesn't have to be a physical thing. It can be something internally, something within yourself. Okay? It can be that job. Maybe it's overbearing. Maybe it's taking you through too much. Maybe it's overwhelming. Maybe you're giving you too much of yourself to that job, and maybe they don't appreciate you. What do you need to release? Is it something internal? Is it the heart that is ungrateful? What do you need to release? Is it codependency? Community, reach out to your resources. Reach out to, you know, because you do have help and you do have resources. And that's what, and it's like, you are going to be reaching out because I do see a win-win outcome. So somebody is ready to compromise on something. Somebody is saying, okay, fine, right? Let's do it, fuck it, right? Somebody's doing that. But when it's late at night and you're having a hard time balancing things or when you can't seem to make the right choice, it's going to be important for you to rely on spirit, to guide you, to pray about it, to meditate. Because, honey, you are, without a shadow of doubt, you are blessed. But a lot of times when we keep hanging with the same people and we keep doing the same old things, you know, it makes it hard for the universe to keep giving you amazing things. When you keep putting out that type of energy, when you keep putting out the energy that's toxic or it may not be you doing it deliberately. Like nobody wakes up and say, hey, I'm going to be a bitch today. Like I'm not saying that. I'm saying that it's important for you to be mindful this week. To release the old so that the new can come in. It is time to be mindful of our decisions and the choices that we make. You will see these changes slowly begin to take place. And by the end of March, okay, 
going into April, check out your, um, you know, your three month reading that I did. Okay. I can't remember if I uploaded it or not, but if not, it will be there. So just check frequently, but you will see by the end of March going into April, you will begin to see that. Oh, so this is all that I had to do. This is all that was needed of me. I just had to reflect on some things and tweak a few things and change some things up. That's all that I had to do. I didn't have to sit here and stress myself out like this, right? And so that is the, the most beautiful part is that you're recognizing how to fix yourself, how to fix your situation. You're realizing that you don't always have to be right. It doesn't always have to be your way or the highway. Hey, I can be the bigger person and, and just apologize. Right? I know what I'm missing. I know what I need in my life. Nobody can determine your destiny but you. God give us all free will. So with that being said, you have a choice. You can get ready for that blessing that's about to happen. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> right? And release will no longer serve you, all right? And get ready for that beautiful outcome that's about to happen for you. Or you could keep stumbling over those blocks that are in your way. You can... All right, Virgo, so we're going to do some love cards, okay? So, I'm having a lot of technical issues. This is how no Mercury retrograde is, like, approaching us because... I go through crazy stuff like this all the time. All right, Virgo. So here we go. We got paradise. Okay. Very good. Happiness, joy, expansion. Okay. Oneness, wholeness, enjoying each other. Again, a new start could be coming, even in love. So for those of you that are single, um, love could be approaching you really, really soon. I also see here forgiving and learning, my love. Look at that forgiven and learning as you release and heal the past and experience more loving as you release and heal the past you will experience more love in your present moments okay so there's some neglect issues here there is some um a need for validation here yeah you gotta heal the past you know a lot of you don't even want to celebrate birthdays and holidays and you know, or anniversaries and stuff with people because of things that they took you through, you know, um, retreat, you know, it could be time for you. If you guys are married or coupled up, this could be a time for you and this person to just simply disconnect from the world. Again, for people who don't really support your relationship or your marriage, okay, this could be time to just simply get away and only surround yourself in situations or environments around people who truly root you on that want the best for you, okay? So this is beautiful because it seems like you are healing something. Again, there's that need to heal. You know, what are you willing to release? What are you willing to let go? What are you willing to sacrifice just to make sure that you are happy. What are you willing to do? Okay. So I leave you with the thought of Virgo that, you know, this energy for you this week is to remember that a new start is coming. And in order for you to obtain that new start, my love, there's going to have to be some major changes. Okay. So this week, by the end of next week, I hope that you are going to be thinking of a master plan. Thinking of a way to get yourself out of the situation. If you feel not, if you feel like, hey, I'm not really in no huge situation, you know, I'm just uncomfortable with the way things are right now, and this is, you know, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so you got to heal that process. Okay, work through those emotions. Forgive. You nobody said you had to forgive, but try to forgive. Okay, I love you, Virgo. Please subscribe to my channel. Guys, don't forget to support my um, other Instagram page. I love my spouse, but I'm going to be doing some love segments really, really soon. Um, I'm trying to get this stuff up and running by Valentine's Day. So hopefully, um, you know, we can have a lot of good advice coming from the universe in regards to love. I'm excited for that. I know that you guys are all excited. And I will keep you guys posted as well about my book and the release date as well. Okay, so I love you. Be good to yourselves. Bye, Virgo.